Wrestling What Ifs. What if John Cena, The Rock, and CM Punk main evented WrestleMania 29? And welcome back to my channel, guys. And again, this is Mike Rato, and welcome to a new episode. For today, we're going to discuss what if Cena versus The Rock versus CM Punk main evented at WrestleMania instead of twice in a lifetime. So this was the original plan according to some articles and dirt sheets that well it is supposed to be the main event for WrestleMania 29 which is the triple threat match. I know I've covered this from before which is what if the main event of WrestleMania 29 was changed in a video from far far from before I think a year ago or two years ago to which well I covered the possible scenari scen scenarios of well this actually happening but yeah just like in the timeline there's a lot of changes here so well here we go as stated also in the first video that well in the Royal Rumble match there's no Vince McMahon rematch type of thing that happens instead well we have this questionable well finish well in this timeline well the shield didn't get involved instead we saw Paul Heyman and CM Punk do some dirty shenanigans to well help maintain the title for CM Punk that means that well The Rock was actually defeated by CM Punk in that pay-per-view and also in that pay-per-view we see John Cena winning his second Royal Rumble well rather the second Royal Rumble match that he actually won to which well he won 2008 and 2013's editions now the next night CM Punk went on a huge heel promo in real life because well Vince McMahon cost him the title in this timeline while well, he's bragging that he defeated CM Punk by himself but it's not totally by himself only so yeah well Vince McMahon stipulations in this timeline also if the shield got involved well CM Punk loses the title but because the shield does not get involved that means that there's no rematch in the same match that means that CM Punk retains when Punk retains while well, he has this promo the same night actually the the raw after the rumble to which while well, he knows that well over two years ago he created this huge pipe bomb promo or one year depending on how you see it so well in 2011 he created this promo and now we're going back to square one to which John Cena is going to main event WrestleMania again and how much and how many times he has humiliated and defeated him while Cena keeps coming back for this title he stated that there's a lot of superstars that are actually deserving guys like Dolph Ziggler naming a lot of superstars by that time to which was well, deserving of the WWE Championship match guys like Rey Mysterio and all of those superstars in the roster instead well John Cena keeps on coming back and WWE keeps on focusing the limelight on him creating a second type of pipe bomb and while well, Paul Heyman is just acting like he's shocked he, he actually doesn't know what to do that Punk is actually creating this promo yet again he's just speechless while he's just carrying the title he's almost scared on his behalf and well there's a song that actually happens and that's the Rock's theme song the Rock comes to the ring tries to attack Punk but Punk escape again that means that well we will set for a rematch at the Elimination Chamber, which is The Rock vs. CM Punk. To which, well, in this match, well, that means that there's no shield stipulation of interfering. Just like in the Royal Rumble match, that means that, well, in the match, the shield destroyed The Rock, causing a DQ in that match. I know that DQ finishes are, well, hated by people, but it kind of makes sense that 
we make CM Punk retain via DQ if we wanted a rematch here as long as CM Punk retains because while well, he's going to main as champion and as for The Rock while well, he's infuriated he's angry that well every time he gets an opportunity there's always a setback interference and well there's someone who's actually helping CM Punk on his behalf that causes him not to win the title in this opportunities and also well Punk stated also that well you didn't go for a number one contenders match you just entered yourself in a feud with me or in a championship match and then you are claiming that I can defeat you one on one and then there's go John Cena haven't you guys forgot about me the Royal Rumble winner you know that the three can create this huge promos Cena criticizing Punk, The Rock criticizing Punk, Punk criticizing both of them, The Rock criticizing Cena, Cena criticizing The Rock, which well we saw Cena well bashing The Rock's Hollywood's career for him going back and forth in the WWE instead of having a full time schedule to which well Punk agrees. Punk actually stated that well The Rock and Cena are stealing limelight or our spotlights from younger talent to which well the audience actually agreed Cena calling out Punk the pipe bump and everything well everything just goes to him the spotlight and everything but yeah the audience will somehow agree for some statements to which well The Rock just will insult CM Punk by this time to which well yeah this builds off the wrestlemania match we can also see assault from attacks from cm punk to which well the rock or john cena countered the attack that said attack or well the rock and cena teasing attacking each other and then they actually attack each other in the next week's episode of raw you know how they teases a triple threat feud to which well who got who actually got the cheers more is it from the rock is it from cena or is it from cm punk and well for the, the wrestlemania main event so as you are asking who is fighting the undertaker well we have two options either an actual three options an earlier brock lesnar match if well triple h will fight somebody else second one is well instead of fighting fandango chris jericho fights the undertaker for the first time or sheamus or even fourth option a rematch with randy orton at wrestlemania 29 so that will be the fourth four options rather for wrestlemania 29 so that means that well we got the promo we got the championship match and all of the excitement towards the audience who will they support more in this match i'm not quite sure if they will boo well whichever the results it, result is and as for that match well we have the decisive finish of john cena beating cm punk and the rock for defeating cm punk while well, he defeated his greatest adversary for two long years to which well it started from july 2011 rather june 2011 to which well it ended in april 2013 as for the program and his two-year rivalry also with the rock to which well it started with the verbal insults and now he defeated him to which well yeah also in the time well it's either WWE can actually produce the new title before WrestleMania, which well they did in real life. As for Punk's reasoning, well, the title represents more of John Cena, and, and in order for him to establish himself, he will introduce a new title, to which while well, introducing the title in 2013. I well for the title, well something that represents CM Punk to which well they reintroduce the title of well the, the rocks design or something like that to which well yeah or something like a brand new design for the wwe championship which the wwe can actually do to which well it will represent the title for years for long term 
planning for the title to which well punk can actually create that in a huge promo so in this timeline well cm punk got his wrestling event main event cena defeated two of his biggest rivals in the last two years the rock well he didn't get a championship run in this timeline unfortunately and yeah that's the ongoing what if for that timeline so i hope you all like this like comment down below share and subscribe for more videos that's it for today and again this is mike rato